welcome back to my channel this is Lovin again and on this video this is the second video of my Amazon three-part Amazon um, delivery so I hope you guys will find this useful this video is for those who are planning on doing the Amazon flex if you want to have an idea on how to do it or you have an idea on how the how to navigate the app so better watch this first before you do it so I hope you guys find this useful and if you do click the like button and if you want to subscribe please do i would really appreciate it very much and i'll probably be uploading my third video the last part of this three mini series of amazon flex it's about more recent delivery so i hope you guys continue to support me and watch that um, video i don't know when i'm gonna be able to upload it but hopefully soon next week or who knows? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for your Every single day, I'm gonna make So this is what the Amazon app looks like. And first things first, you need to select a plug before you can drive to the Amazon Depot. All you have to do is go to the offer section and just select which timings you like and swipe accept. And now you have deliveries. So if you want to cancel or forfeit the plug, you can do so. Just go to your calendar and choose the plug that you want to cancel and just swipe forfeit this plug and you'll be able to cancel it. But remember, you can only do so an hour before the start of your shift. Otherwise, your standing might get affected. So it's just do it an hour before minimum. You can also use this filter feature where you can just um, filter which station you'd like to get a plug from. And you can also change the timings. Let's say if you only want to get a block that starts from this hour to this hour. So you can change it here. So let's now start our delivery and just swipe go to start location and the set navigation will guide you where so to go. So before you enter the Amazon premises, someone will be at the gate asking you what time your route is Thank you. and for how long and they'll be asking also for your name. Don't forget to put your hazard lights on. It's required when you're inside the Amazon premises and because of this COVID, you have to wear your face masks. And this guy, another guy will be asking for your name or he or she will be asking for your license and the time of your route. Today is free me. Today they gave us this torch and the cookie. Thank you, Amazon. It's worth mentioning that last December, oh, yeah. they've handed out a cookie and a torch. Amazon do oh, care for hear. their drivers. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want me to go straight here? Or you... Yeah, go left. Yeah, go left. Go straight on Thank you. Sometimes not so busy at all, but during the busiest season, November, December, there will be a lot of cars queuing for their deliveries. So, as you can see, I have a shift today and it's supposed to start at 3.30. But as you can see, it's already 44 and um, I'm still here queuing. And there's still a lot of cars in front of me and a lot of cars behind me. Turn off your car. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. If there's no more available block for you, you can click the no route available and have this um, scanned by the Amazon Associate and you're free to go. You still get paid for this. So how do I arrange my parcels inside my car? So you can see here, this is this is the code, the 3603. Come here. 
reading it correctly what is 3603 all below tens um i put it together in one side and the 20s because this code you will see it on the app as well and it's so much easier to find it rather than just find it anywhere or everywhere inside your car before you put in everything before you can scan bags you have to scan the paper that is on the cart so you have to do this first otherwise you won't be able to scan each bag or each parcel so all the large boxes you need to scan them each while this the big bags like the yellow ones the blue ones you can scan because each bag they have a uh, code so all you have to do is just scan those you don't have to scan each um, parcel inside the bag but you have to scan each boxes that is not inside the bag So if you encounter any problems at all, you can just ask the Amazon Associate and they'll sort it out for you. If, if you have a parcel that is missing, it, that is not inside or that's not included on the cart, but you have it on your app, so you just tell them that you have a missing parcel and they'll sort it out for you. See, all the big boxes, I usually put them on the passenger seat and all those inside this bag if you can see it the green ones folder if it's just a what you call this book folder so you will also see it on the app but sometimes they get mixed up i mean the app says it's a parcel but it's usually it's actually a very very big extra large parcel so just be mindful as well or easier to scan the code using my android phone rather than my um, iPhone. So every time I scan or every time I do my deliveries, I use my Android phone. If you're taking so much time and you're the only one left and you're blocking everyone else, um, you can do it later. Just park uh, somewhere and just arrange your parcels. So as for me, I'm able to, to arrange my parcels really quickly. So I think I'm used to it now. Here, this is your delivery and the app will tell you which side the house is located. Let's say the delivery is on your left or it, the house is on your right. So you will know which side. It's a large box and it's got this 3604. So this is the yellow sticker. So for me, I usually put the 04 or the below tens on the left side and the teens, the middle and the next and so on. So I got here no delivery to any secure location and then continue. So swipe to finish. So this delivery has been dropped or been delivered and you go on to the next one. Swipe to finished. List. So next up, these are the list of your deliveries, the addresses. And you can also see here this one, 22, 2200. So this should be delivered, This let's say number 6, drop number 6, it should be delivered by 10 o'clock in the evening. So there are time sensitive deliveries, you just have to check them because some of them needs to be delivered at certain times. Otherwise it's going to be show there late, especially the offices because they close at around 5 or 5.30. So for this one, you actually have three parcels to deliver, but not on the same house. Just be careful on that because <laughs> I've received quite a few parcels that are supposed to be for my neighbor, but they've delivered it here. Did you mean to select two se separate addresses? Yes, continue to deliver. That means you're supposed to deliver the parcels on two different or few different houses. For this one, you missed your scheduled deliveries, don't go to the start location because I was late. I think I was not late. I was just using two different phones at this time because I was never I was never late. I think I've used my iPhone here, not my Android. So it says here you miss your scheduled deliveries, don't go to the start location. They usually uh, the Amazon app will give you five minutes uh, buffer time if you it's let's say if you have like three o'clock schedule they would still let you in um 305 but beyond that this is what's gonna be show is not there to 
to receive your parcel there are actually a few things you can do you can text leave you can text the customer you can call the customer or you return the items return items remove items that are damaged or that the customer doesn't want or unable to deliver and for some reason you're unable to deliver it you just have to click this unable to deliver but for this time let's call the customer Um, message the customer so for this example um, the customer has asked to deliver it in, inside the closed enclosed front porch so it's got here an option where are you leaving the parcel if the customer is not there so the note here enclosed front porch you just have to click on this front door front porch And it will ask you to take a photo of where you left the um, the parcel inside the front porch. So for this one, it, 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 you've got to verify the age of the customer. It says here, verify age, get signature and recipient required. But because of COVID, you don't have to get them, um, you don't have to get their signature. You just have to um, ask them their ID if they are... 18 and above so this is what I do sometimes if the deliveries or the drops are just close to one another I just bring a bag and put them there together so I won't have to go back uh, my car and get the parcel and then deliver and then go back again and then deliver so let's say here if it's too dark you can click on this one here it's a flashlight in then you're able to scan it For some reason you, you're not able to scan the barcode you can actually manually enter the parcel id So let's talk about no connection. As you can see here, no network connectivity found. Please make sure that you are connected to the internet. So, so what I do is I just check whether I am going near to that delivery or I'm going farther away to that delivery. So if I'm going near, then I'm on the right road or I'm on the right track. If it's not, if I'm going farther, then I'll go to the opposite direction. Easy as that. <laughs> or what you can do is download offline map so you don't have any wi-fi connection or you don't have any connection at all but you could still deliver it just click on the question mark and gps not working so i hope you guys learned something from this video i hope you guys have an idea how to use the app or how to navigate the app i hope this has helped you somehow